In this video, we'll convert 0.62 moles of CuNO3 2 to grams. This is copper 2 nitrate. And this 0.62 number, that's just something I made up for the problem. So we have 0.62 moles of copper 2 nitrate. And when we're converting from moles to grams, so we're going from moles to grams, we're going to multiply by the molar mass. That gives us grams. So for the molar mass, we go to the periodic table and we add up the mass of all the elements. If you need help with copper 2 nitrate finding the molar mass, there's a link in the description of this video. So we find the molar mass for copper 2 nitrate and we get 187.57 grams per mole. The units for molar mass, that's grams per mole. When we multiply now, we have moles on top and the bottom. They cancel out. That leaves us with grams and that's what we're looking for. So we know we set the problem up correctly. We multiply and we get 116.29 grams of CuNO3-2. So to recap, we're going from moles to grams. So we had our moles, we're going to grams. So we multiply by the molar mass, that gives us grams. If you were given grams and asked to find moles, you'd do the reverse. You'd take the grams, you'd divide by the molar mass, and that would give you moles. This is Dr. B converting moles of CuNO3-2 to grams. That's copper 2 nitrate. Thanks for watching.